It's time to discuss sending Western troops to Ukraine. Lithuanian MFA. Now is the right time to discuss the possibility of sending troops from Western countries to help Ukraine, says Gabrielos Landsbergis, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania, in an interview with Quest France. He was asked to comment on the fact that French President Emmanuel Macron's statement about the possible sending of Western troops to Ukraine has sparked serious debates. Now is the time for discussion. The beginning of the conversation destroys the self-imposed red lines, Landsbergis replied. He emphasized that none of the capitals is too far from Kiev for the army of the Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. Some of us may feel safe being far away. But the geographic fact is this. The Ukrainian front line can be compared to the distance between Vilnius and London. If the Ukrainians no longer defended this line, imagine how it could end. This concerns all of us, the foreign minister added. At the end of February this year, French President Emmanuel Macron did not rule out sending Western troops to help Ukraine. However, he clarified that there is no consensus on this issue. Russian President spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that Paris's activity in trying to put together a coalition of those who are ready to send troops to Ukraine is a direct line to escalating tension. Of course, in general, the expansion of the discussion and the persistent activity of Paris in attempts to put together a coalition of countries that declare a hypothetical readiness to send certain contingents, of course, is nothing more than a direct line to escalate tension. This is a very dangerous line. Very dangerous and, of course, it could potentially have very undesirable consequences. He said, Russia's glide bombs give its air force new power in Ukraine. FAB 1500 is hell. Russia's air force has dramatically boosted its effectiveness in the Ukraine war with its increased use of glide bombs contributing to Moscow's recent battlefield successes, according to Western experts and according to the Washington Post. It is noted that the plentiful Soviet-era bombs, which carry up to half a ton of explosives, has been fitted with wings and guidance systems to fly long distances with some accuracy, allowing the Russian jets that release them to operate away from Ukrainian anti-aircraft systems. Along with Russian drones, missiles and artillery, the glide bombs have added new destructive firepower to Russia's campaign in eastern Ukraine, as seen in the recent conquest of the city of Avdiivka, Russia's first major victory in recent days. Earlier, CNN reported that Russia has begun using a powerful aerial bomb that has decimated Ukrainian defenses and tilted the balance on the front lines. It has done so by converting a basic Soviet-era weapon into a gliding bomb that can cause a crater 15 meters wide. The bomb is the FAB-1500, essentially a 1.5-ton weapon of which nearly half comprises high explosives. It is delivered from above by fighter jets from a distance of some 60 to 70 kilometers out of range of many Ukrainian air defenses. The FAB-1500 is another example of how Russia is fighting its war in Ukraine, inflicting massive destruction before trying to take territory. The FAB-1500 is directed towards its targets by a guidance system and pop-out wings that allow it to glide towards its target. One soldier from Ukraine's 46th Separate Air Mobile Brigade told CNN from the frontline town of Krasnohorivka in Donetsk, Previously, we were only shelled with artillery. Now the Russians have taken on the town more aggressively and started using Air Force assets, particularly the FAB 1500. Why are they using the FAB 1500? Because the damage done by it is very serious. If you survive, you are guaranteed to have a contusion. It puts a lot of pressure on soldiers' morale. The FAB 1500 is hell. Право, право. Дальше, дальше. Вот в те дома. Вот впереди. Вот 
mașina mea cu dragii și ziceam tot bine, echipe cu strălnică, ce sunt ceva și cu iarii pe lanță. Так, ребят, проходите дальше. Что? Вы дальше пройдите. Что там? Вообще ничего нету. Да, что нам делать? Мы в этом гараже не сможем, ребят. Вот здесь 7-6 вообще укрытий нету. Вот здесь 7-6. Танки, вы заняли видите Да, блин. Восемь шесть, восемь семь шесть, нет укрытий. Восемь семь шесть, нет укрытий вообще, блять. 